Okay, we're at the Arm Wraps uh, shop, so I guess uh, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and right here what you're seeing is a blank or an average flat door that we're going to wrap. I just want to show you how we normally wrap it. So uh, before you install the door wrap, uh, well, first of all, every order is custom sized to fit any kind of size of door you want. If you got a 32 inch door or a 36 inch door uh, by 80 inch high or even a 75 inch high, we will make it the size. So what I need from you guys is the width and the height of it. And we always add two inches on the sides, one inch on top and one inch on the bottom. And also, you get a squeegee like this. This is what we design everything. I'm going to show you how it works with the uh, with the arrows and everything, also a knife like this, similar to this, and also the print. So on the print, now in the description box down below, you will see uh, the link of, of this design right here. This is actually a, a misprint, but there's nothing wrong with it. We just, uh, we printed out the wrong image, so we're just gonna reuse this. Um, also right here is what we call tacking it on strip on the back side, so you get the same thing. So that's what you're seeing right here, so you just pull this off right here. Um, we use this blade right here to cut a one inch strip right here on the back side. So I make, try to make it as easy as possible. Oh, and before you uh, install the door wrap, get the rubbing alcohol and water in the bottle and you, you just, um, use a limp free rag, clean it real good, and get it all done before you install it. Take the handles off, like I did right over here, and anything else. This one I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of show you, if you have something like this, it's pretty easy to get around. I'm not going to show you right here. So, first thing you do, take the strip off, and then what you're going to do is use your knee, and I'm going to actually, it's right here, I'm going to uh, level it out, make sure it's just right exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so this is where the tacking part comes in. So I'm just kind of tacking it on right here. There. So now it's kind of up. Uh, now I want to do is double check everything, make sure it goes around the edges and everything. Make sure it lines up perfectly where I need it to be. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me right here. It's good on this side. Good on this side. Okay, top part. Now, for this top part, I'm going to do, so everything's all nice and set. You want the vinyl to relax. Okay? So, oh, if you got any comments or questions, you can comment down below. i got them on right, right there. So if you need any uh, questions or inputs or anything like that, I'll, I'll try to sneak up my eye over there and see if I can catch it. And then I can kind of go from there. Um, okay. So, you take your squeegee. You can see these arrows right here. So if you basically follow the arrows when you're installing it, this angle right here is a 30 degree angle. So what it does, it forces the air bubbles down and out. So if you go like this, that's why I'm doing this right. <laughs> you work your way down this way. And that's, that's the reason why I designed it and, and we are actually building these uh, at the shop here. So next. Oh, and this door wrap is called a jail door wrap. So if you go to armwraps.com website, go to door wraps, and you can just go to um, one of the buttons on there, and it'll say a jail door wrap. So that's, that's a little if I like. And actually, the, what the vinyl we're using is the air release channels. Most of them we print out are matte sheen because you want to see the image, not the reflection. So that's the reason why. So now, what you do is you follow the arrows. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. And I'm going to follow the arrows, and you'll have a lot less air bubbles in there. Okay, so when you get right up to this edge right here, right in the corner, hopefully you can see that. If I get a little closer, I'll help you guys out. Okay, let me get a little closer, I'll show you exactly where I'm Hopefully you can see that. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have a cover over here. I'll show you what the cover is. So the cover is gonna cover most of it. 
as you can see right here, covered right there. So you don't have to be totally, totally tight. So right here, you're going to go right here, I'm going to do like a 45 degree angle cut, like that. And also same thing right in the corners right here, 45. And you just kind of keep on working it in, go as far as you can. And you can probably just cut it right at this edge. And if I really want to go, you know, like high detail stuff like this, I would actually remove this little spring. But this is like demonstrations and also showing people that you don't really have to take this whole thing off. Okay. So that's kind of one way to get around that little booger right there. And now, it's covered, see, it covered the most of it. So that's, that's one technique right there. Okay. Let's go back here. Hope I'm not too much in the way. There we go. Okay. And a lot of people say, hey, can I average people do this? And I say, yes, you can do it. Average people are going to do this. Basically, uh, if you go to the website, the rmartraff.com website, so the customers and projects in the top right hand corner, showing people, average people can actually install these kind of door wraps. So if you're looking for a door wrap like this, I can do custom designs, I can do, then I just, a lot of the designs I, I do on my website, is stuff I've done, designed and everything, so I just put that on the website, but I do do uh, you know, office buildings, um, like salons or, or bars or, or anything like uh, bathroom restaurants, um, any restrooms and everything, so there's, a lot of things you can do for this. Okay, so now what I can't show you, basically, let's see if I can usually grab the back side. I'm going to roll this up and I'll show you. You can do the same thing. Make sure the vinyl is kind of, the, the key is have the vinyl relaxed. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off just like this. Okay, and probably, I don't know, 10 inches. So it's lifting up just like this. Now, what you can do, I, you see that? Yeah, foot. I just grab my foot and I pull my foot and I, I'm pushing it down so it's kind of level. So it's nice and level like this. Grab your stringy, follow the arrows. Take your time. Any air bubbles, that's fine. And actually, another way you can do this and make it more tight, if you don't want to use your foot, I'm trying to give you as many options. So, you grab this back side, pull it down. And I'm pulling this right here, my hand down, so it's nice and even, just like what you're seeing right here. And this is, like I said, this is an air release channel, getting the air bubbles in the middle of it. Okay, so my hand's in the way, but if you see the arrows, you can actually, oh, now I screwed up, oh no, there. So if you get like a, like a crease right here, a lot of times I just use my fingers, fingernail, and I kind of massage that crease out. That's what you say right here. I'm trying to make mistakes so you can actually see it's possible making mistakes and uh, fixing it, okay. So what well, my purpose is is basically making ugly looking doors, uh, fun, unique, add a little more character to the door wraps and that's what I'm doing. So if you got any ideas or so, uh, I, I try to stay away from any copywriting uh, uh, logos or teamwork or a team like sports teams. I'm trying to get away from all that. Uh, I don't do them anyway, so. And if you got any questions, seriously, you can always call me, email me, text me. If you're having troubles uh, installing the, the product on the door or the mini fridges or the refrigerator. 
Okay, so on this bottom part right here, what I normally do, sorry if it's loud. I start rolling it up down below so it's not in the way. So I'm kind of lifting it up on the bottom part. So it's at an angle. I don't know if I can see this, but there you go. Just like Okay, so on the sides, it's still a shot, yes. Okay, the hinge is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on, on this side right here. I'm gonna do like a 45 degree angle cut. Same thing, 45 degree angle cut. Okay, so for, you know what, I'm gonna just show you real quick on the, the edge right here. So this. Okay, hopefully you can see that. See the thickness right here, this right here? Also, what it does, get that out of there. You put this right here, and this is all in my squeegees too. So you can kind of put the, the thickness of the squeegee. Rub against, so it's a perfect cut right there. And you can get a little tighter if you want. There you go. So now, that's as tight as you can go. Uh, you can actually get it tighter, but it's, it's good to have a vinyl on top of the, the hinges and everything. Hopefully you got that. Okay. Okay. Now, same thing. And again, you don't have to remove your door. Lay it flat. Uh, some people do, uh, but you really, it's not really necessary. And another question was, uh, basically, uh, the people who order through me, they think I, uh, I, I, I buy the print from China or Ukraine. That's a, that's a popular one. And uh, I don't. This is all... See right there, that's the printer we printed it out on. I use 3M product. I use the high, high quality uh, stuff. And uh, it's, it's great. Okay, so I'm just gonna check it for the air bubbles. Okay, so now what I normally do, I can tuck it in. Uh, on this one, I'm just going to, on the trim side, I'm just gonna do is, I'm gonna cut the excess off on the trim side. And I'm gonna tuck it in just a little bit. It's only like a quarter of an inch, but that's enough to, to do it. Okay. But definitely check out the, I got a lot more designs. I'm coming up with more designs. And uh, there we go. So on the sides, I just run my thumb and I kind of walk it in. And this goes to the back room. It's still kind of funny to see a gel sign. Okay, so on you're gonna have like a this like a quarter inch right here or a half inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna put my knife against the door and kind of walk my way down. There we go. 
And also, I need to fix the sides right here. It's about a quarter inch over here. And it's going to be looping in. And what I like doing at the very end, especially with the air release channel, what I call long term vinyl on my website, I just take a little bit of the heat gun. I heat just the edges. That's all you need to do. Heat the edges. Okay. That's it. Simple as that. I'm not sure how long it took. It probably took about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to do. Uh, just to do a, to change the look of the door. Something unique, something different. That's a, I kind of like this one. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of ones. So, uh, yeah, if you got any comments or questions, comment down below. If you want to check out more of my stuff on the armrafts.com website, go for there. And if you want some custom stuff, let me know what you're looking for. Uh, no trademarks, please. And uh, unless, unless you're a company, actually, and if you have a license for that trademark, you can say, yeah, this is okay. You can, you can do it. I've, I've done a lot of the trademark stuff, but I have to have it written set to do that before I do anything. My phone's answering, calling, and time for me to go. Go back to work. Okay. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you learned. If you like something like this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, get the applaud button down below. That's basically uh, a tip from me or for, uh, to, to, to have a tip. And so it just kind of pays for some of this uh, electronics and and uh, get better equipment coming up. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, yes. Or subscribe to me, blah, 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 blah and all the YouTube things or whatever. Uh, but other than that, I'm here for you. If you need anything else, let me know. All right. My name is Randy Miller. Phone number is 208-696-1180. Email me at armwraps at gmail.com. Or just check out more of the videos on the Arm Wraps uh, YouTube channel. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. And... Uh, have a good day.